So we're going to be, we're going to be doing some mid journey, right? Having fun in mid journey today. And so we're going to make some marketing images for that I'm going to put on Facebook and we're going to make pets in space. We'll put cats in space suits and we'll do some action shots and whatnot. It should be fun. Okay. So getting started on making images for Facebook ads, I have a few criteria that I always like to stick to. I like to make square images for Facebook ads. Square images take up a nice amount of space on the feed when you're scrolling through the mobile feed. And then when you're also on the desktop, a square image takes up a nice big amount of space on the page. So it is more eye-catching. So I tend to go with square images. I don't need to give an aspect ratio to Midjourney because square is the default setting. When you hit slash, it brings up the menu of commands you can use. Here are all of the Midjourney ones you can click on over on the side. We have a couple of different things that we might want to play with today. We'll see. There's a blend option. There's a describe option. But imagine is what you use the most when you're prompting in Midjourney. I'm going to start with cinematic photo of a cat in a bee suit floating in space. Dramatic. I like using dramatic. Drink a sec gives me some nice dramatic lighting. Dramatic lighting, colorful background, but give me something cool in the background. And we're going to get that just started. I have been staying away from 8K resolution, hyper-realistic, any of those things, because I feel like, although digital painting does work well, I stay away from a lot of those because hyper-realistic and these sorts of things are things that it already does. I think cinematic has been, oh my God, look at these already. These are fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I, I like a lot of these. Although this one looks like his ears coming out, right. out of the top of the thing. Let's do imagine a movie still of a woman wearing futuristic clothes, running with a dog at her side. Daytime, also dramatic lighting. And I'm going to include the words depth of field, which will hopefully give me a blurred background because I like that nice bokeh background. Oh, these are fun. Oh, that top one looks good. I like that one. What does she have in her hand? Let's upscale that because I'm interested in that. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to upscale number three. It looks like she might be have a lasso or something in her hand. I think that over here, we could probably put a spaceship in the image over her left hand, left shoulder. One of the things I like to do is you can do also the very subtle or very strong. We can do one of those, but we're going to actually do very by region, which is going to bring up this really cool editor. Okay. Drag to select the area to be changed. I am going to use this little lasso tool down here instead of the rectangle marquee. And we're going to select this area over her shoulder and we're going to Okay, that looks good. When you're ready, edit the prompt to describe the new image. So this is something that people have found confusing. You actually want to change this whole prompt to tell it what to put there, okay? So what I do here is I add a spaceship over her shoulder, and it's going to do that. I'm already loving it. It's not even done. Okay, great. Great. I think this is good. I think something up here in the upper right-hand corner would be perfect for an image on Pets in Space. I'm going to upscale that one. We're going to upscale it. And then maybe we'll, just for kicks, let's hit the very strong. Let's see if it, if it changes things now. Oh, look at these. These are fun too. This one, upper left one is really strong. I love it. Damn, Mid Journey's on fire today. I'm going to upscale that one. We still want to see his face. By the way, this was all movie still. So I think that this is why I've got lots of good action on these images, like her hair blowing in the breeze. And it, it all looks very action packed because I did movie still. A movie still of a variety of animals. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, let's look at our variety of animals. Oh my goodness. It's like mice. This is fun up here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, look at this top right one. Oh my God. It's like a mouse. What is he doing? Is he driving something? Oh, there's a lot of dogs down in this bottom right here. I am, I'm, I really want to see what is going on in this top right corner image. 
All right, guys, the guinea pigs have taken over. Look at them. They're like running the ship with like hats and helmets and goggles on. This is so much fun. I freaking love it. I'm going to do cinematic, a cute, fluffy alien pet sitting on the sidewalk of a futuristic city, daytime, heavy details. Kind of wonder if I, and then we're going to try it actually with uh, the Niji engine and see if that gives me something like cute and like kawaii. I want somebody to see the image and be like, oh my God, that's so cute. So let's, let's see what it comes up with. Oh, see now this is cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, but this one in the upper left-hand corner is great because there's like a person behind. And I like that. It feels more street photography. I like this upper left-hand one. Let's let's upscale that one. And then I'm going to actually have it vary it by strong and see if we can get some other creatures in here. He's so cute. Let's do... Let's use the term street photography. Street photography image of a cute and fluffy alien pet in a futuristic city. Daytime crowd, depth of field. And let's go from there. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm way into this one in the upper right hand corner. I don't know. He's really cute. Street photography is getting me good, good results. I love it. That is just the cutest thing. Yeah. I wonder if I can, let's vary by region and see if we can get, let's keep the crowd. I want to keep him and then select the area around him and say people in the crowd wear, wearing like futuristic science fiction type stuff. Let's see what we can do. Make sure that I don't cut off any of his hair here. Okay. Right. Around and down. Okay. When you're ready, edit the prompt to describe a new engine image. Add in a sci-fi futuristic crowd behind this alien street scene. And we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see what it gave us. Did it give us more sci-fi? It did not, but he's still pretty cute. So I'm going to hold on to him. Let's try doing the, the I, I want to actually, I'm going to re-roll this prompt and see what other cute ones I can get. Street photography is always our, another good key, amount of keywords you can use. Street photography, cinematic, movie still. Those are all the ones that I've found lately that are like really fun for dramatic images. Has anybody else had any ones that they liked? Dynamic. Oh, that might be a good word too. Oh goodness. That's cute. And that looked like Yoda. Yoda and a cat had a baby. They look floppy. They look cute. They're escaping. Oh my goodness. So cute. Bottom left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to upscale number three because it's cute. And we're going to do a zoom. So we're going to zoom out a little bit and see if we can get more of the surrounding, right? Let's play with it. Let's see if we can get it. Let's zoom out a little bit. And you know what? I'll do a very subtle on this one as well and see what else we can get. Okay. I like the zoomed out version a little bit. It's nice. It's got, still got him at the center, but it's nice because we get to see a little bit more of the futuristic city around him. Okay. These are fun too. I don't know what's going on with him down on the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Mission Impossible with pets. Let's do a movie still. Okay. Sorry, fi Mission Impossible with pets. Daytime. Let's put in lasers. Who doesn't want lasers, especially in a story? Guys, look at this. <laughs> it's a cats and dogs. <laughs> I love this bottom left hand one. It's got cats and dogs wearing sunglasses and lasers. <laughs> Number three is a music video. I agree. <laughs> this is the band you all want to be listening to. <laughs> Not like a lot of features in Mid Journey, right? You would be surprised about the kinds of images you can make in Mid Journey. Dramatic lighting is also really good. Busy composition is a lot of fun because it will put in like lots of details. And then, of course, in the settings, you can also change things like the stylized. Let's change the stylized setting real quick and we can, we'll stylize high. 
and we can do this one again and see how different it is when the stylized is set to high. So you can see it appended on this, what are they calling these things? The, these parameters here at the end, that the dash S is stylized and 250 is like a higher storm setting. And Dan is asking what my normal style setting is. I usually just have it set at medium. So we got lots of good results on medium. And we're going to get, looks like we're going to get some fun results with stylized set higher here. Look at this. Yep. Definitely a little bit more stylish. And look at this guy in the upper left-hand corner. Is he like half dog? Oh my goodness. I could spend all Thank day. Thank you doing. for joining us on something wickedly cool in AI. Um, this is what we do in our lab sessions. So the Future Fiction Academy is eight labs a week. You can come live. You can watch the replays after you get the transcript. You also get the lab report. So the five of us are the main instructors for Future Fiction Academy, and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. So basically between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills and we invite you, we invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye. Uh, uh, take two. <laughs> okay. So I can't even do it. Stop now. laughing now. Stay serious. Stay serious. <laughs>